السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Your Highness Sheikh Hamouza, Chairperson of Qatar Foundation, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Faculty, Scientists, and Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is truly a great privilege to welcome you today to what is becoming now truly a national research forum. Uh, as I can see from the audience we have today, we have now perhaps gathered the um, the whole research community in Qatar. What, I, what I'm trying to do uh, during the next uh, five to 10 minutes is just to share with you, and especially those of you who are coming for the first time, a very brief overview of what has been achieved through this great institution that is Qatar Foundation in less than, um, than 16 years. Um, there is a special emphasis for us also in this annual research forum today. That is really globalization of research. And we will get into that for the next panel. But for now, let me just share with you, whenever I can. It's always good to. There you go. Uh, since its inception in 1995 by His Highness the Emir, the goal of, this, uh, of the Qatar Foundation is to strengthen science and research through strong education foundation. What I would like to do today, just for the sake of time, mainly focus on the science and research programs. And you can see what we have tried to do is really to address all the spectrum of research from the basic fundamental research all the way to the translation and applied research. And that's from primarily through our um, partnership with elite education research institution, all the way going to truly an accelerator in the country, that is the Qatar Science and, Science and Technology Park, um, and more recently, what you probably have heard about, are a set of world-class research institute that are the result of Her Highness initiative on how to bring the um, Arab scientists from around the globe to contribute with us and to work with us through the development of science and research in the Arab world. Another equally important element in our research landscape here is the academic medical center that is SIDRA, that is due to open within the next few months. And that's again another hallmark of the uh, Qatar um, interest and uh, uh, objective in developing world-class health based on research. Now, the most important of all of those is of course, like all of you, learn from your own experiences in your own institutions and countries that without really sustainability and the strong commitment at the national level and the leadership level, any of those exciting programs will not last. So we do have that and it's truly through a commitment of 2.8% of the national GDP to support research and development. I'm sharing with you very briefly some highlights on how that research and development landscape in Qatar has now, is now leading to a very exciting and competitive research environment. Now, if we want to go to the next level, which is not simply enabling research, but also how to build it, implement it on the ground, sustain it for, for, for a long term. So I will focus just for, for, for the sake of time again here through these two sets of, of programs, that is the Qatar Research Institute, and we are fortunate to have met yesterday with a number of Arab scientists coming from around the globe to share with us this excitement, but also to get involved with us in, in building this, those programs further. Um, really, one key issue that is close to all our hearts is how best to build local, local capacity in research and development. And we have set up uh, a truly innovative uh, research training program called Science Leadership Program and that brilliant lady who introduced me just a few minutes ago is really one of the members of that program, which is now pursuing her PhD in the in, in UK, and we are counting on her to come back sometime soon. Um, there, is, there is no doubt that you have already understood that at the heart of the research and development model that the Qatar Foundation has chosen is really based on partnership with elite institutions around the globe. So we are looking into expanding that program or that approach for further development of the research landscape in Qatar Foundation. Um, of course, 
I cannot talk only about what has been done, but also what we, we hope to achieve for the short term and relatively long term. So as you can see, those are few areas that I'm not going to go into the detail of any one of them, but I think you can, you can already notice there that we have a broad uh, interest, yet very focused in each one of, of them, starting from the biomedical, the energy and environment, and computing, where we have truly structures now, real structures on the ground, but also we don't forget about the social sciences, the behavioral sciences, the arts, and the sport, of course, that also part of building this really thriving um, uh, landscape of, of, of research and development, and for the society as a whole. Now, we hope, of course, for the, for the short, for the medium term, to position Qatar as not simply using um, uh, science product or development that has been done somewhere else, but also to innovate itself, even at the regional level for the long term, for the short term, and hopefully also at the, at the international worldwide scene. Now, I, um, of course, I could not resist but sharing with you some of those figures that we have for this annual research forum of 2011. And just to remind you that the last year forum, we had about 500 participants, and now we have almost three, three, three times more, even, perhaps even more than that, with also equally impressive number of institutions from the country and also international, internationally, number of institutions that have uh, collaborated with us or are working with us, with us at different level. It is important also, as, as Dr. Watt has mentioned, is, um, there will be presentations throughout tomorrow and the day after from our scientists, our students, and the number really that, we have, we see in front of, that you see in front of you is truly really impressive. Students are also eager to participate and they are being extremely competitive. And actually they are not really given a choice because they will be reviewed by a set of external high level really scientific experts. So um, now to take you through what is going to happen within the next couple of hours. The very first um, meeting will be the panel one and that will be dedicated to the globalization of research in the 21st century. And the whole idea behind it, as has been already announced and highlighted by Her Highness during the last year forum, is how best to, um, not only to build new knowledge, but also how best to share it with the rest of the, uh, of the globe, in particular those who may be less fortunate in having access to the real-time and timely uh, scientific information. And we have assembled for that panel really science leaders from around the world, including also our own uh, science leaders from Qatar, so that we can, that they can brainstorm and come up with few suggestions on how best Qatar Foundation can endorse some of those that we will develop later on and implement. Uh, after a short coffee break, there will be a second panel, and I think you would immediately realize the importance of that second panel. You cannot uh, talk about globalization of research without also taking into consideration that some of that knowledge that is being created through that globalization, some of it can also have um, an impact, an immediate impact on society and on the economy. And that panel too will address some of, uh, or some examples on how to achieve that. Uh, of course, I should not forget to mention those who have uh, believed also on the importance of science, research and development in, in, in contributing to society and economic development. Some of them have already been with us last year and others are joining us now, such as the ExxonMobil, Total, Chevron, Shell, as well as other partners in, in, in scientific publication, such as Q Science, as well as New York Academy of Science. And of course, importantly, also one of our education city partners, Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar. With that, I wish you really a very um, enjoyable uh, two panels. And I will now call on the members of the panel.